Do these things look awesome and fun to you? This is real, folks. This is the real hoverboard right here. So forget everything you know. This is it. If you said yes, then the STEM field, especially engineering, might be perfect for you. All of these things were literally designed, developed, and created by engineers. In this video, you're going to learn the pros and the cons of pursuing a career in STEM and engineering. Coming up. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Engineer Meets World. If this is your first time here, I'm Johnny, and I graduated back in 2016 and 2018 with my bachelor's and master's degree in mechanical engineering. And since then, I've been working as an engineer full time. Needless to say, I think pursuing a career in engineering or any STEM field is extremely rewarding and it's one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. You get to work on and develop really cool stuff that makes the world such an exciting and fun place. But it's not an easy journey. Actually, becoming an engineer was one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life. But that's a topic for another video. So let's get right into the biggest pros and cons of pursuing an engineering or STEM career. One of the biggest pros about the STEM and engineering field is that there's so many exciting opportunities and you can explore the world of STEM way before you even get to college. There's after school programs, local events, STEM fairs, STEM outreach programs, the list goes on and on. These things are awesome because it provides exposure to what kind of real world problems that people are trying to solve right now. Things like renewable energy sources or space exploration or new technology and improved transportation and so much more. All right, so another pro about engineering and STEM careers is that it really fosters camaraderie. Many of the projects that you're gonna work on while pursuing an engineering or STEM career are gonna require a lot of teamwork and collaborating with others. And this isn't just true in college, but this is true in the real world as well. Nobody works alone on anything. Developing the next groundbreaking technology or solution to solve real world problems requires a lot of teamwork and healthy competition. Another one of my favorite parts about college was having the opportunity to work alongside other engineers and solve these really, really difficult problems. It's really something special when you can bring together different people that are really good at different things and solve something that you couldn't solve on your own. And another big pro that I wanted to share with you is that coming out of college with an engineering or STEM degree, you start off with a pretty solid salary. If you do some research online and look at some of the statistics that are posted, you'll find that some of the highest starting salaries straight out of college happen to be engineering or STEM related degrees. All right, so let's get into some of the cons of pursuing an engineering or STEM degree. One, which is obvious, is that it's difficult and it's time consuming. Around 60% of the students that study engineering will either drop out or change majors, and 40% of those will do so within their first year of college. Engineering is a tough major and it requires a lot of sacrifice if you really want to succeed in school. I remember my professors in school telling me that for every one hour that I spend in class and lecture, I should be spending at least three hours studying for every one hour in class. All right, another con I wanted to share is that finding a job can be highly competitive in certain fields. In reality, if your dream job is to go work for Apple, or SpaceX, or Tesla, or NASA, you might not get that straight out of college because there's so many other people across the entire nation that want to work for those companies. And one last con that you should consider is that by pursuing a career in STEM, especially in college, it could potentially cause you to focus less on some of these other courses, such as English or arts 
or foreign languages, etc. While some of these other subjects might not be directly related to STEM or engineering, there's still so much value in focusing in those areas to develop your soft skills because they really help you grow to become an effective communicator and to develop other skills such as reasoning or creative thinking processes. That being said, you'll definitely be challenged in those areas as an engineer, but they might not be the specific goal. Overall, I think engineering is one of the best career paths that you can pursue. It's changed my life for the better, and it's taught me skills that I'm always applying to my everyday life. If you thought the video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on college, career, and other awesome stuff that I'm up to. This is Johnny from Engineer Meets World, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!